Hi, you've clicked on to today's tropical tidbit for Sunday, the 5th of August. Here in the Atlantic, we have Florence weakening in the eastern Atlantic as it sucks in dry air. Moving west-northwestward will not be a big issue for any land masses anytime soon, perhaps never, so we will ignore her for now. And the focus remains on Ernesto here in the Central Caribbean. And if we zoom in here, notice it's lost convective organization since yesterday and uh, has now basically opened up into an open wave. We have the remnants of the surface center running out ahead of the convection due to the strong trade winds, as we have said uh, would happen here. And things are basically going according to plan. Uh, the tropical wave uh, is open here. You can see it doesn't really deserve a name anymore. There's no westerly winds on the south side, but the NHC will continue advisories uh, for the sake of the forecast for re-strengthening, uh, which would make it pointless to strip it of its name now, only to give it back 24 hours later. But we'll see how it goes here. It is uh, now getting to this area uh, where you see it's going to pass Jamaica now and uh, should try to re-strengthen over here as it gets into the Western Caribbean. Now you can see most of the strong trade winds are behind it, uh, helping support convergence instead of divergence in front. Notice the winds in front are now more out of the north-northeast. We no longer have westerlies coming out due west of the circulation, which is good news, uh, but this is pretty beaten up here. Uh, so it's going to take a little bit, probably through later tonight and tomorrow before it actually starts getting its act back together, but there's really not much to say here. This is following the plan that we've laid out for the last few days fairly well so far, and we're going to have to see uh, how the last part goes here. We're still watching for the first landfall in the Yucatan, probably somewhere around Chetumel or somewhere north or south of there. Central Yucatan coast is where this is probably going. And uh, can it be a hurricane by then? It's not out of the realm of possibility, but the longer it stays this dishuffled without starting to re-strengthen, the better the chances that this won't be a hurricane by then, which is good news for Central America. But this will be a strengthening problem as it comes in towards the coast, and then I think in the Gulf of Mexico on the other side will reach its peak intensity, most likely hurricane status at some point in its life. Now here's the water vapor imagery, and uh, the big features we still notice are the upper low over the Gulf of Mexico starting to back west-southwestward here away from the scene, again going to be ventilating the northwestern Caribbean here, and you can see uh, the other upper level trough bringing a northwest flow to the north of Ernesto. You might say you don't see much of an upper level ridge over the western Caribbean now, and that's correct that you don't. However, uh, this is not that bad of a situation. In general, you want tropical systems moving into an area where there is room to develop a ridge due to their own convection rather than coming into an area where a ridge already exists, if that makes sense. Generally, it's better uh, for there to be cold air aloft to generate the instability, and then the storm is allowed to create their own anticyclone aloft, which is what Ernesto is forecasted to do uh, per the global models, uh, supporting the idea of an upper ridge developing here uh, during the next few days. And now again, uh, there's still some dry air to the west of the circulation, but most of the trade winds are coming out of here now, and uh, the convergence combined with the very warm sea surface temperatures of 30 Celsius in here should allow some regeneration to occur, and this should be uh, more worthy of its name a couple days from now before landfall. Here's the model tracks, bringing this fairly close to Honduras and then bringing it into the central Yucatan. You can see some of the models are making it die over here in the continent. I don't think uh, it'll be this far south. I think it'll still cross, uh, similar to the NHC track, and get out here into the western Gulf of Mexico. If we look at the European from last night, uh, it has changed its tone. Notice that it's near the central Yucatan, and notice that it has a stronger storm strengthening as it gets into the coast, unlike yesterday in previous runs where it showed basically nothing here in the Gulf of Honduras, and I mentioned that it would probably have to correct for that, and it is, and it shows a strengthening entity coming in, only a tropical storm here, not a hurricane, but then it does make it, uh, looks like almost a Cat 1 hurricane as it comes in towards Tampico, Mexico, in six days on the other side, and uh, this is more Resemble, uh, this resembles more of what I think will happen with the intensity starting to ramp up and strengthen as it comes in towards the Yucatan as a strengthening problem and then reaching maximum intensity in the western Gulf or the Bay of Campeche. Uh, now if we look at the GFS 500 millibar 48 hours out, uh, we notice that this is where it has Ernesto or what's left of it and this might be a little bit too far south taking it inland over Honduras here, uh, but notice that we uh, still are looking at this ridge over uh, the western Atlantic my mouse again. Uh, here's the ridge east of Florida and the ridge uh, in the Rockies or the Four Corners region rather in Texas and then there's weakness uh, 
weakness in between, very light winds here, not a big trough as we've been talking about, uh, which is why we're starting to discount the solutions more towards the north here, especially now that Ernesto has become this weak and has indeed opened up and isn't going to be taking full advantage of this as a powerful hurricane. But instead, we'll just be starting to gain a little bit of latitude. It comes westward, then it's probably going to start curving west-northwest a little bit and just move across the Yucatan lightly and then uh, try to sneak up towards the northern half of the Mexican coastline and as far north as this can probably get now is extreme south Texas we're basically uh, safe now I think in the north central Gulf Coast and upper Texas probably not going to get this really Ernesto should only be a threat for extreme south Texas uh, down towards about Tampico and if we look at the European ensembles this is the idea I really like here Unlike the operational, which is way down here just to the south of Tampico, the spread that you can see with the pink colors here shows that the tracks generally take it anywhere from south Texas, uh, from Corpus Christi down towards Tampico, and I think this is going to be the rural northern half of Mexico, or uh, extreme south Texas is where this should make landfall. Might give it should give it enough time over water to try to become a hurricane, given the favorable conditions it will be under, and uh, this should be a hurricane landfall for the second one, if not the first one. So uh, Mexico may get a double hitter from this, or along those lines, or it could be Belize, Mexico, but something along this uh, Yucatan, and then a second landfall on the western Gulf Coast. So we will uh, be keeping a close eye on this, and uh, we shall see what happens. All right, that's it for today. Thanks for watching.